<laughs> Alright guys, um, next couple of questions um, come from come from another one of my family, another one of my cousins, uh, and uh, it goes in the name of D Gamer. Um, D Gamer, and he asks me basically, did I like? Do I like the Noir series? Do I like the Noir series? And if so, which one was my favorite? Um, believe it or not, guys, I enjoyed them. Yes, I do enjoy. I do enjoy the Noir series, the Marvel Noir series. I think they're very cool. I like the concept of, you know, you know, uh, what if, you know, the Marvel Universe, most of their characters were basically, uh, basically, you know, take place in, you know, the 1930s or something like that. Uh, not all of them have superpowers, so that's cool. Um, and believe it or not, guys, I have all of the limited series that have come out about them. So, Daredevil Noir, um, Punisher, Spider-Man, Wolverine, X-Men, you know, Iron Man is just coming out now. Luke Cage, my favorites so far... Um... My my first my I, I enjoyed um I enjoy of course I'm a, I'm a love Spider Man's um I enjoyed how they concepted all the characters in that um but I other than Spider Man's I really enjoyed Luke Cage's his noir series was great um and I think and I think Dobby will back me up on this one that was an excellent series a series series um. Noir, uh, Luke Cage Noir was just a great way of showing, like, yes, this takes place in the 30s of Harlem, New York, but it had a lot of tension of, you know, little, you saw a lot of races, racism in there, so of course, you know, you're gonna, they had to show that, but Luke Cage had that reputation of, he was a man, indestructible man, you know, he can take a bullet and stuff like that, you got to see w Willis Stryker, aka Diamondback in there, you know, um, I enjoyed the Punisher um, Noir series. He was a veteran of World War One. I. I enjoyed Wolverine's take on it. Well, that man, that had a lot of deaths in that one. Um, everybody pretty much died in Wolverine Noir. Um, instead of instead of having the claws and everything, he was uh, he was basically an expert at knives and stuff like that. Cool. I really um, Iron Man. Um, so far, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. I haven't read it yet. That's the one I haven't read yet. But I've read almost all the others. I have them. The X-Men kind of failed me because I didn't really like um, that take. Oh, they, they're crazy lunatics, you know, and things like that, you know. But um, I really much enjoyed the noir series. I really much. And I'm, I hope, I would love to continue to see them do more. Um, and hey, and that's your next question. Uh, who else Marvel characters can you see them doing the War series about? Oh man, um, let's see. If they're gonna push, I would love to see them push some people like Shang Chi would be cool. Iron Fist would be cool. Uh, how about hell, Doctor Strange? I would love to see Doctor Strange Noir. Um, let's see. Uh, hmm. Black Widow, yeah. Black Widow Noir would be cool. Um, see, the thing is, like, that with this series, they're not trying to go with superpower too much. You know, and that's why I'm trying to go it. Um, but uh, those are some people I would take. I can't see Thor. You know, maybe Captain America, maybe. Um, but I don't know. It, it'll be kind of weird. You know what I'm saying? But uh, definitely, those are some people. 
So thanks, cuz again. That's that's another one of my cousins, people. D gamer. Um. But other than that, guys, yo, thanks again for the question. And moving on to the next. Uh, we have uh, next is uh. Hold on, I'm looking right now. Is uh my friend. My friend. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Sorry. The gamer, 79, and he says to me, uh, he says to me, are you going? Have you seen the press conference of them showing off Gears of War 3? Yes, I have. Uh, Gears of War 3 is going to be killer. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing if you can play with, you know, I, I was always saying that Gears needed strong female characters and prep, and we're going to get that in this game. But also, but it also goes, also, guy, uh, gamer, to the fact that um, this is going to be the last one. So they're going to end this, probably going to end with a bang, but also, if you saw in that demo, the, the, the prequel, the, the teaser trailer, what are those things that are attacking everybody? Those are something you got to watch out for now. Okay. And then your next was, what do you, what are your thoughts on the new slick, sleeker, slick Xbox 360? Man, I love that new look for it. It looks like a car engine, dude. It looks great, and um, I plan on getting it. I plan on getting that and giving giving my old 360 away or something, selling it or something, or, or something because that one looks great. It's got it. Jeez, it just looks so great. The only thing I was worried about with the new blacker, sleek uh, Xbox 360, and it's only 2.99. Is the fact that I was hoping I was I was hoping I was scared that you couldn't transfer your your data and stuff over to that that hard drive you know because it has a 250 gig hard drive but I found out yes Xbox dot uh, com sent me an email saying yes you can you can so it's great because I have the transfer cables to take all my data and stuff like that and transfer it over to the the new Xbox. So I'm definitely gonna get that soon. Uh, I'm definitely loving that new slicker uh, Xbox 360. Definitely, definitely. All right. Um, so, and they they announced that at the press conference at E3 this week. So I was like, whoa. You know, PS3 went sleek and skinnier. Uh, about time Xbox did the same thing. And now it's supposed to be more like it doesn't make a lot of noise anymore like it used to and things like that it's supposed to Wi-Fi is supposed to be slick and clean getting on live is easier and faster than ever it's great looks great it's beautiful it looks beautiful and that jet black can't go wrong with black in my book I love black can't go wrong with that so thank you for the question guys and leaving off we're gonna end the Q&A with uh, Blue Goblin, of course, uh, as always. So I'll uh, get to it.